Your father is Italian? But American born, yeah. But I haven't seen him. Okay, so she's looking for her father. Your father's name once more, once more. Thomas Gemelli. Yeah. And so began our journey to help Mary Ann find her family in America. Guys, look who I'm with. I'm with Mary Ann once again. Hello, guys. The lady that I met in the market in Naga City. Well, actually, I wasn't supposed to be there that time, right? Right? Yeah, it's. Uh, I was supposed to go home. Right. And drop some things. Really? Yeah, before I go to the market. But, uh, you know, I don't know what pushed me. And suddenly I decided wow. to go there. And then uh, that's where I met you. And uh, this, is, this is crazy, guys, because Mary Ann's been searching for all of this time you 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 were telling me that uh, you've tried in the past, but you just got dead ends. You didn't really get anywhere with it. You didn't really know how to. Well, yes, I was in my elementary, in my sixth grade. I've heard, you know, them talking. My grandparents, the, my late grandparents, that uh, you know they submitted pictures to some, you know, organizations or foundations. Right. Yeah, right. Uh, where they find their fathers. American how old fathers. were you then? I was in the elementary, but when I was in high school, I started doing you know, it yourself no no I didn't do it myself but you know I, I started having this feeling of really finding him right so that evening I went back and I started reaching out to any Jamelis that I could find on Facebook sending out messages and then on New Year's Eve I uploaded the video and boom there is one particular family that have contacted you yes uh, I, I sent a, a, a Facebook message to somebody and they yeah, and then and, they contacted me. and they replied and they looked at the video and then they saw your Facebook yes, yes. and they and contacted, they contacted you me. direct yes direct yes. wow that's awesome yeah that was awesome really yeah wow were you nervous I was <laughs> yeah I bet you were emotional <laughs> very you know I've been crying since the moment you sent me that link yeah of my father's obituary yes yeah I was crying and you know that was New Year's I, I thought it was around 12 midnight yeah. Yeah, and then I was crying. I, I was thinking, you know, that he was still alive, you know. Yes. But when I found out he's already gone, then that made me more emotional. So you've actually found somebody that possibly could be your father, um, yeah. the, your father's family. Yeah. But unfortunately, there was a link to an obituary. Obituary, yeah. That. Uh, a, a certain Jamelli had passed away exactly yeah. in November November yeah and he was actually buried on my birthday if you look closely Mary Ann's birth certificate says that she was born in November 1973 but the family tell us that the late Thomas Jamelli left the Philippines in mid 1972 and I'm willing to do that you are willing I you are willing, willing to, to do, do a that. DNA you know just to give everyone peace of mind you know you know, so we could get through this and, you know, mm. whatever the result is, I'm ready. Have you ever done a DNA test Not before? Yet, ever, ever. Okay, so you were telling me, uh, neither have I, you were telling me that they mentioned a website. Uh, what's was, the name of the website? Ancestors.com, that, uh, online, something like that. Ancestry. Ancestry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Ancestry.com. Ancestry. Has anyone ever found anyone of their family members through ancestry.com yes. does anyone know about the dna paternity test and how much that costs so i think uh your family are already on ancestry.com and that's yes, why they're, they're asking yes. you to do your side yes. does anyone know how long it takes um i don't know how long this this process takes maybe somebody watching this already knows mm -hmm. you were raised by your grandparents my late grandparents yes okay they told me that uh, you know i am a daughter of a foreign foreigner they told you this yeah they told me how yeah. old were you when you i kind was of... my elementary and they then did that um is it like a charity organization that tries to find the the father I think so yeah it was uh, either uh, because there was there i had three pictures of my father right yes and i lost all of them the two the two first two pictures you know the other one my grandparent maybe they sent it to pearl is back or something it's a foundation and then the other one they sent it to Americian. The foundation sent it yeah, to yeah. the people who they thought was your family yeah. in America. You didn't get a reply, so you lost I the didn't. pictures of your father. No daughters. No daughters. 
boys, only two boys, and then uh, the eldest is about 28 now. And uh, what's his name? Mowgli. Mowgli, Matthew Mowgli, yeah. Okay, and yeah. where is he? He's a seaman, he's a marine engineer. And then your other son, Tonton, who is on the voice kids, the voice kids Philippines. How old is he? He's now 20, t turning 21 in May. He is in America? Yeah, he is right now. When did he go to America? He went there uh, last April of 2021. Your mother is now living in America. She's lived yes, in America for in a Vegas. number of years. Yeah, she's in Vegas. Yes. Las Vegas. Tell me a bit about your mother. She she couldn't take care of you at the time. And yeah, because she had to work, you know. And then um, that time also, I was like 10. Mm. Yeah, we would go, my grandmother would bring me there and then visit her for a month during vacations Where and my was elementary that? days. Visit? That was in uh, visit Angeles Pampanga. Okay. Los Angeles Pampanga. Right. Ah. <laughs> yeah, but so they say, yeah. So your, your mother was in Angeles, that's where yeah. you were born. Yeah, this And uh, your grandparents are from Naga. They're from Naga. Naga, Naga City. Yeah. And you, they would bring you to go visit your mum in Angeles yes. City in Pampanga. Your, your mother moved to America? Yeah, she moved to America. Yeah. How old were you when she moved to America? I was like like 10, 10 years old. 10 like years that. old. She wanted to, me to come with them. but I Really? Didn't, yes, I didn't want to leave my grandparents that time. I was 10 and I was very attached to them because they're the ones of who course. took care of me. Yeah. Yeah, and brought me up, you know, since I was right. a two-month-old baby. So Since you were two months, you yeah. kind of don't even remember like any time with your mother really apart from going to visit exactly yeah but the grandparents were the ones that were really acting as your mother and father and yes. you didn't want to leave them you wanted I to stay want to leave them. yes yeah here yeah. in the philippines in with the philippines, them yeah well you know every time i would ask my mom uh, when i was in high school i started looking for him in high school you know and uh, you know um all she would give me is our other name of my father and the state where he lived in. That's the only thing I could get an answer from her. So she knew his full name and the state that he was living in in America. Yes. He had divulged that to your mother. Yeah. And that's all she could, that's all the info she could give you. Yeah, she wouldn't say a thing. She kept mom about my father, you know. And she said, are you willing to uh, get hurt if ever they will not accept you? Are you willing to take humiliation, something that, you know? I said, Mom, of all the pains that I've, you know, gone through all my life, I became stronger and this time I will not quit. As we walked around Naga City, it was amazing just how many people were friends with Mary Ann. Yes, I was only 19 when I started, you know, professionally working as a band member. I've actually seen a picture of Mary Ann when she was, where were you? You sent me a picture. Were you in Bahrain? I was in Abu Dhabi. Was Abu, in Abu Dhabi? Yeah. And you were 19? Yeah, I was 19. Long yeah. curly hair? Yeah, long curly hair. Sweet, woo! Yeah, because I like Gloria Estefan, that's why I had- Guys, <laughs> checking it out. After uh -huh. that, we went to Dubai. Mm -hmm. And we spent, uh, I think two years back and forth. Like okay. that. Every Ramadan, we get to go home. All right. Like that, yeah. But we disbanded also after that. Okay. Yeah. What, had, was, what was the name of your band? band? I had a different band that time during the when we went to Dubai. Maybe somebody has seen Mary Ann before if they've been. <laughs> no, we used to play in uh, Marco Polo and Marriott. Yeah. For a long time, and yeah. then uh, our band used to be called Caliente. Which means. Hot in Spanish. Hot. Is it? Yes. Okay. And we play most of Gloria Estefan songs and other Spanish songs, you know. Right. And it was fun, you know. Yeah. Foreigners, they will just dance yeah. while you play. It's yeah. really good. Do you miss it? I do, but you know, every time I think about it, you know, I'm ashamed because I'm getting bigger and bigger, and I'm afraid. You know, when I go <laughs> climb up the stage, the stage would, would collapse. You know. Ah, oh, Mary right. Ann. <laughs> Since 2012. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, I stopped singing totally. Can you believe in the week that since the video has gone up, you've had over a hundred thousand views? No, I wasn't expecting that. And over three to four, five hundred comments on people wishing you the best of luck and finding. Yeah. It was overwhelming, you know. Yeah. And as you know, I couldn't believe that people would message me 
on Messenger, uh -huh. and when they would send their support, all the care and everything. Maybe this is the beginning that I will find my roots. Yeah. If the but, DNA comes back as a match, which I'm sure yeah, from hopefully, looking at some of the pictures yeah. of the family members, I must say that you hopefully. do look very similar. Hopefully. Do you know what's next? Would, would you travel to America? Would maybe they know. come to the Philippines? I would love to meet them, you know, for sure. That's for sure. If they will accept me, I would be ecstatic, you know, but if not, I'll accept it. I'm ready for it, you know. It's around 14,000 here. Yeah, 14,000 pesos. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Have you got 14,000 pesos? <laughs> oh my god. Well, uh, no, actually, my son, he promised me uh, he's gonna send me on his next salary. When's his next salary? I think it's the end of the month, I think. But I know for a fact, Marianne, that the salary that you receive through selling the food around Naga, that's, that's only enough just to sustain you for your daily needs, Diva. Oh yeah, but yeah, I get by. <laughs> but you won't be able to afford this DNA unless you get some help from your son. Yeah. Is that what you're I saying will, to me? Yeah. I asked him about it already yeah. and he said that he will help me with it. Yeah, well, myself and Leah May, we're gonna help as well, but I don't think that we can uh, pay the full amount, but we're certainly yeah, gonna yeah. reach out and, and help you. 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 you know, I see a little hope you know, so I will not give up and I just, I don't know, this is maybe you opened the door for me and I thank you for that, you know. Marianne, so thank you so much for sharing you. your story with Mr. Thank Blair. You, Mr. And I would like to thank uh, everyone who tried to help me. Thank you so much for reaching out and for showing me the care. I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys. When will I see you?
selamat